hey guys, what's going on? So I think Ryan Garcia had a really dominant performance last night. I think he really fooled everyone with his antics leading up to the fight. And I really think it was all strategic just looking at his performance. And I think even him coming in heavy was also something that was strategic. I think maybe he even thought that he would be able to get away with that pre-fight agreement since he did miss that weight. Probably because Devin Haney and his camp weren't sure how seriously he was taking the fight. So that was probably one of the reasons why they went ahead with it. But I thought he was definitely the dominant fighter all throughout the fight. The one judge that had it a draw, I'm not exactly sure what he was basing that off of. But I thought by far Ryan Garcia was the better fighter. I thought it could have easily been stopped at several moments in the fight. Especially the 7th round and then... Some of the instances later in the fight where he got dropped several times. And I think there's even some questionable uh, knockdowns that didn't get counted. That counted as some sort of a slip and stuff like that. Uh, and I even think the point that was taken away from Ryan Garcia was a little bit questionable. They could have easily just gave him a warning. But, I mean, usually the bias is obviously in the champion's favor. I think it was even a little bit more than that, but... Definitely a good win for Ryan Garcia. I think it really opens up a lot of opportunities for his career. I think especially just looking at his performance compared to the Gervonta Davis fight. I think you really could say that uh, a lot of his lackluster moments there could have been due to that heavy weight train. He weighed in about 143.5 pounds for this fight. That fight, he was drained down to 135. In addition to having that rehydration clause, so he couldn't weigh probably 10 pounds more than that come fight night. So I think that really had a huge effect on that fight. And I think if we got a rematch with him and Gervonta Davis at uh, 145, for example, I think uh, that would really be in Ryan Garcia's favor, and I think that would be a much more competitive fight. In terms of a rematch with Devin Haney, I don't really think that makes sense right now. I think maybe you could say uh, that Devin Haney established his jab in a few moments of this fight, but I really don't think the rematch would be competitive. I think you'd have a similar outcome, and I also think it's now... Uh, the right time for Ryan Garcia to move up, perhaps 147, uh, somewhere along those lines, get a few fights there to get a feel. He could even do maybe a catch weight with someone like Shakir Stevenson, but I really think it's an impressive feat for his record. Not sure what the next step lies for Devin Haney. Maybe he could try and get another fight at 140 with someone else in his weight class, but I doubt Ryan Garcia is going to fight at 140 anymore. I'd like to see him probably take some time off before fighting again, maybe even six months uh, upwards to a year because it looked like his face got pretty swollen. It's even questionable if he broke his jaw, but I think really an impressive win from Ryan Garcia. And I think Devin Haney probably was taking this fight seriously uh, with his fight camp, but I think maybe mentally he wasn't expecting that much of force from Ryan Garcia. So really an impressive win, a really great performance from Ryan Garcia. I'm interested in seeing more from him to come. So feel free to let me know what you guys thought about the fight. Appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you later.